Andreas, last time we met at Critical Communications World in Berlin, we talked about the S1 and the advantages of the S1, saving money and saving time, something exactly. like that. Yeah. So you guys have done some more improvements to the S1, That's is correct. that correct? Yes. We did mainly talk about two-way communication in paging last time. This time I would like to show you a little bit more about S1 Fleet, which is our solution for central terminal management and also remote configuration. One of the important aspects in remote configuration is that you uh, co correctly configure the keys for encryption into your pager. And S1 allows this to do that very conveniently and very securely. Let me show you. Yep, okay, perfect. So, as you can see here, we have here a possibility to manage crypto keys. I can either generate my own key, and if I want to, I can even change it. But I do not want to do that because I already prepared uh, some keys for import. So as you can see, this is already encrypted. So when I import this file, when I upload it now here, I cannot see the keys. I cannot edit them because they have been prepared in advance. Nobody should know the keys, right? Exactly. And it's especially important so that I do not disclose the keys by accident. I mean, whoever handles key files must be trustworthy, such as you and me. But it's important to also try to, to prevent accidental leakage of data. Okay. So we have the keys in our program. Okay, fine. The keys are in the system, but there's another thing you need to do. You need to get them into the pager. How do you do that? The keys are uh, assigned to the address in our system. And I can show you really quickly how I do that right now. Okay. So I go into alerting addresses. And so far my addresses have not been of crypto type. So I will change this one to a crypto type. So now it's a crypto type. And now I can assign the, the key, key number one, which I defined before and save here. And with this, once a responder has this RIC in his pager and we configure the, the pager for, via remote configuration, the key is already in the system. As simple as that? Yes. All right, Andreas, we're going to do the programming of this pager, right? Yes. Yeah. Remote? Remotely, yes. So we have to go to a remote location now. Remote location, which is nearby, right? <laughs> Thankfully. We don't go mountain climbing. Not today, <laughs> sorry. All right, let's see how we can program this one remote as we are here right now at this location. And I'm going to put this pager into the charger, into the, well, it's not only a charger, right? It's also remote programming. It's a programmer. Exactly. So as you can see, it's already programming right there and the light is starting to flash on the device itself. And we're done, right? Yes, correct. We're done. You got your keys, you got your settings, everything's right there. And it has been done secure, right? Yes, because the transmission is uh, sa secured by TLS, Transport Layer Security. And you can also see in the GUI of the PROC client, the green arrow indicates successfully programmed. You can now take your pager back out. It's not able to be hacked from somewhere by somebody? Never say never, but it's actually very well secured. All the communication is encrypted. Okay, so that means it's fast, it is easy, but for almost it's very safe. Yes, it is.